Florida teacher Joanne Nadich reveals her injuries for the first time after a 270 liber autistic teen, Brandon Depa, beat her unconscious, caused for him to be locked up for 30 years after she was left with five broken ribs, concussion and loss of hearing. I am so sorry for what my son did and um, nobody, nobody should ever have to go through that. But at the same time, please consider that my son has had a hard life and he's gone through so much trauma in his life he has autism please show mercy to him it's devastating that um my heart is breaking um i'm terrified for my child i you know i feel like if he gets sentenced to prison it's a death sentence for him um he's scared I'm sorry I had to blur the picture, you can watch the original link, I will post it in the description. But you will see a bunch of ladies kinda panicking, you see a man walking, like security, too slow as if he was the terminator, reaction speed, reaction speed sucked, I don't know, it, it, it makes no sense, something's weird about the situation. And to have your child call and cry and say I don't wanna die, um, it's, it's awful. And I don't understand why that um, in his IEP, it was stated that in the intensive behavior group home that he was living in, if they ever had to remove it as a consequence, they called in the crisis team. That's why they call it now Autism Spectrum D Disorder, ASD. An IEP is Individual Education Plan, which is a plan for that specific kid. I have a kid with autism. Um, in the beginning, he had somebody that helped him help him eat food, help him understand the games they're playing, bada beam, bada boom. But he was developing in a way that was very positive. They decided to remove it so he can try to adapt on his own. But sometimes I need to go to the school that I fail my child because I'm like, you're not there consistently. This is happening. You're creating a new negative trait. And now my son has normalized being sad. The original IEP called for a token economy for um, so he could you know, to motivate him to do his work, he could earn uh, tokens to then go to like a snack closet. Um, this year, he had a new teacher who um, is not Joan. Joan was not his teacher. She's the para. Um, he had a new teacher who um, it was her first year teaching. And she didn't, I don't know if she didn't understand the IEP, if she didn't read it. But she approached the group home and asked the group home to send it in. Listen, for anybody who watches that video, it's it's hard for them to get past it, and I can understand they'd, they'd be devastated for for Joe Nadich, the um, the victim in this in this attack, and and I can imagine you feel devastated for her as well. You wouldn't have wanted this to happen. Um, you're you're obviously torn between the suffering that she's going through, and then of course, the son that you uh, that you love. It's just odd that he was in you know, this kind of public schooling to begin with. Do you, do you know why this was the situation, why he was actually even in um, a typical school like this, if he had this, these, this list of, of conditions he was coping with? When um, he originally was in an autism behavioral hospital back before COVID hit, right before COVID hit, and um, we went through a process to where um, we were not able to reunify with him and bring him back home because of the limitations of seeing him in that year um, due to COVID. And so uh, he was placed in an intensive behavioral group home and I questioned it at the beginning. I had always homeschooled him because he didn't handle the school environment. I asked um, the group home, you know, did he have to go to public school? Could he not do school online? And I was assured by them that all of their um, clients went to public school. So even though he was a level six and um, I never thought he belonged in public school, I didn't have a choice. The Nintendo version Switch, he had a Switch, the teacher removed it and I'm like, wait, <clears throat> it's a kid that might need a crisis team, like big people or two that might help in case because the kid is too big and you took it away and then you're surprised he chases you. That's like me trying to control a pit bull and to get his attention, I'm going to bite him. That's freaking stupid. Especially when the pit bull used to fight back in the day. I'm not saying that 
Okay, I told my wife about the situation. She also reacted, no, bad behavior should be punished. I do agree with that. You need to teach them their limit because a kid with autism doesn't understand respect. Now, how you punish the kid is totally different because if you can apply a punishment and he can react in a different way and overpower you, what's the point doing a punishment? I am speaking from the view of a special education teacher. In no way does my message here make any excuse for the violence that occurred, but I hope I can provide context from my personal experience on why it happened. The school system that this parent depended on to provide specific things and follow the IEP in place under the law of IDEA failed her son and herself. The school has been short staffed for years and haven't had adequate intervention or supports in place to help kids with autism who have aggressive outbursts. I've been attacked a few times and thankfully never needed medical attention but I understand the behavior and why they have occurred. These kids get pushed through the system and parents try to advocate and are promised that the IEP is being followed when in reality it isn't able to be followed due to staffing shortage for the professionals and the therapy method it takes to help these aggressive kids learn replacement behavior that helped them function properly properly in society. Another example of the school prison pipeline, but now they are targeting youth with autism. I don't think this teen should get away without any consequence, but instead of prison, he needs to be in a full time residential program that will give him the support and therapy that the school system provides probably neglected. I'm not blaming the teacher, she experienced assault that almost took her life. It is the superintendent and people within the district and department of education that sit back with their fancy 60k salary while teachers make peanuts and strip off their rights to provide proper consequences or tools of intervention to prevent these kids from getting that far. And that is what I liked because as a teacher you have a specific specific solution but everything is done in such an empathetic way that you can't really do anything right it's always empathy 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 if it gets aggressive crisis team i'm like where's the middle ground this is a fourth assault he needs to go to prison he clearly is not safe in a society and this woman cannot parent him they're forcing him to go to school because by the way i'm seeing it it's just a little school is like hey give me funding give me funding i'm caring for these kids but they're not and they don't take the blame they need their funding so they blame the kid there will be no mercy he needs to be sentenced to the full extent of the law you cannot beat the teacher up and then expect there be no consequences okay let's make that normal then i also want if a school doesn't follow the iep i want my money back you will be sued and you will take care for the kids forever by giving the mother the amount of money so she can just stay at home and take for the care for the kid for the rest of her life given that her son is huge incredibly violent and has no self-control it's reasonable to conclude that leave him in a society would be a death sentence for other people he does deserve prison and putting him there is probably the best way to protect innocent people from him but if you live in a system right now that you have to send your kid to school because you're not allowed to just randomly keep him at home it's not gonna work the government will force you but where you're sending your kid to a school hey there's not a lot of options you can always find special needs because they don't help the kid properly or they don't even have space right so you have to send to public school they're telling you they're following the plan ma'am you had your chance for years to raise a son who understood consequence for whatever reason it didn't work so now the state will have to teach him yeah sure teaching him that is going to teach in the prison right amen my empathy goes very long but my consequence goes also very long but a lot of people have no freaking idea what the heck is autism okay the fact that maybe the kid might have been treated in special way because they sent her to an intense intensive place that in the intensive behavior group home that he was living in he might be surrounded by special kids the same way you have no idea how they treat him they had candy moment in the closet because he needed a safe space the fact that that even exists is bogus to me 30 years sounds good to me i'm sure there were signs of this before and she was partly responsible as the parent i'm 100 percent sure but also the school promised we are following the IEP. We know he's freaking big, but we have a crisis team. We're going to help him because he can be aggressive. Bada beam, bada boom. Look at the guy walking very chill while the guy was hammering on the lady. 
he didn't see it as an emergency emergency you know why because he still has his job but when i saw this i was just very surprised how many people don't even understand autistic kid and don't even mind sending them to prison because all they see aggressive people prison i wish it was also normalized when a lady smacked me in the face but anyway smack the like button share see you guys peace